Hello guys, Venom here and welcome to Laptop Media. Today we have one of the newest graphics cards by Nvidia, the GTX 1050 Ti. It has 4GB of GDDR VRAM with 128-bit memory interface and also 768 CUDA calls. The particular model used in the video is by Palit, the Stormex Edition. And I know it looks very cheap, right? That's not a very beautiful GPU if you ask me. And well, yes, it is one of the cheapest versions of the 1050 Ti that you can get right now. But considering the fact that this is a budget graphics card, most of you would probably don't want to spend any extra money. And this is the point of the video. Is the Palit Storm X GTX 1050 Ti worth its money? Now, for today's test, we used a good budget-oriented CPU as well, the i3-6100, and I guess you would probably want to see some benchmarks right now. Okay, let's take a look. As you can see, the graphics card not only does the job playing some popular esports titles like CSGO and Overwatch, but it actually runs Rise of the Tomb Raider quite well on max settings with 46 FPS and of course no anti-aliasing. And GTA 5 run pretty good as well with 80 FPS on high settings with 2x MSAA. Some of you may think that the i3-6100 bottlenecks the GTX 1050 Ti, but that's not very true, or is it? I also tested the same games on the 1050 Ti but with the i5-6400 and the results were actually the same in most situations. I don't expect from you to have an i7 Skylake and just go out there and buy one of these GPUs. Of course you would probably want to make a budget build if you're looking forward buying this graphics card. So yeah, the GTX 1050 Ti is a very good graphics card for its money. In fact, it is more powerful than the RX 460 and it costs just a bit more. Is it worth buying it though? Well, yes, if you're on a tight budget, you can just buy one and throw it in your old PC and basically revive it and give it some fresh air. If you care about looks though, I would recommend you to skip this one and maybe buy something else. But if you don't care at all, the Polit 1050 Ti will serve you very well and even run popular AAA titles at medium to high settings, which is pretty good and I think it is currently the best entry level video card on the market. The good thing about this Polit version is that you don't actually need a 6-pin power connector from your power supply, so even if your PC is very old, you can still buy this GPU and have fun playing some newer titles. Well, that's about it guys, hope you liked this video, let me know in the comments below what do you think about the GTX 1050 Ti. Don't forget to subscribe to Laptop Media for more videos like this one, see you next time.